Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for manga I have recently read through um, through the time period of May to June 2023 so this would be a uh, second video covering that time period um, so going through the manga titles which I've read here um, we have Superheroes which is an etchy and I must admit I have enjoyed that series uh, moving into I think my next favorite rom-com type story um next to bisco hattori's uran high school host club known through crunchyroll as tonikawa over the moon but in this um in its actual translation or when brought out in the english it's called fly me to the moon and I must admit, I have really enjoyed this story. Um, I've also, also by the time that this video goes up or is scheduled to go up, I have started watching through this series and I'm enjoying it as much as I've enjoyed the um, reading for the manga. And talk about a story that gives a lot of respect to both characters but also introducing new characters i never thought i would enjoy it so much as this and even the covers for this are absolutely amazing for each and every volume and i mean it uh, in that picture, we can see the uh, the key character, Nasa, and his wife, Sukasa, And that's something as well that delves within to the story. And you get to see this relationship uh, build and grow. <laughs> so I've got a lot of positive things to say about this. And I never thought I would enjoy as manga as much as Run High School Host Club. Well, look out, I've got another. <laughs> and, of course, moving back into Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, to which we follow up from the Shinjuku incident, uh, what happened with that story, also trying to find out what's happening with the character of Gojo within the storyline, what's happening with Yuji, Itadori and Yuta as well, we get to um, see that character come in, plus some more characters. Uh, we also get to find out what Ghetto is doing, and we learn that he also plays a part in the creation of the Culling game. Uh, we also know that he doesn't like um, Gojo that much in this, and it's sort of like interesting how it's brought across. So... Returning back to superheroes, so there are still a couple more volumes of this series yet to come out. I think it finishes at volume 12 or 14. So for these itchy stories, I give them an 8 out of 10. I did quite like the story, and I'm working on getting back into the anime, uh, even if it might mean watching... Uh, episodes 1 to 12 again, plus any OVAs, whatever else. Uh, Fly Me to the Moon. Um, as I said before, this is one series that I never thought I would enjoy, but I'm glad I actually came across it, um, even though it also connects to, say, a Crunchyroll original. Um, this series, we follow the character of Nasa and Tsukasa, uh, to which we see the picture of Tsukasa, his wife, in the story. And you, you really get to see this story play out um, in a way, sort of like how a young couple begins to start off and um, 
sort of like their first living quarters, moving into sort of like other places, uh, along with how to deal with certain situations within the story. And as the story continues to grow, you begin to grow not only to um, love these characters, but you also get to see the world with these characters. And talk about a story that, yes, it understands that marriage isn't perfect. But you know what else isn't perfect? <laughs> Sometimes the people. But you also see how both through Nasa's eyes and also Sukasa's eyes, you also get to see some of the things that they think about each other as well as also being there to support each other. I'm, it's like something that you would dream, some people would dream of to see in an actual story, let alone their real life. And the way this really brings it across I'm afraid that this series is going to get a high 8.5 from me I enjoy it that much and on top of that um, even though it's meant to be a shonen it feels a bit like a shoujo and a rom-com um, I've really come to enjoy each and every volume as I've read through it. And I love seeing the characters' interactions, whether a couple of chapters might, say, take part throughout the day and then they move on to the night and then what happens, what might happen in the night and then we move into the next day. It's really well thought out, this series. And I'm looking forward to finishing season one, moving into season two. So, yeah, I stick with that, an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely check this series out. If it's not your thing, go find something else that you might like. And moving into Gego Akutami's Jujutsu Kaisen, it's been really nice to return to this series, um, seeing it's been on the shelf for a while, and been a while to catch up with what's on the shelf. So with this, we get to catch up a little bit more with what's happening with the Shinjuku incident, which takes place through, I think, these first three volumes, and then we start to move towards the culling games, and that has some crazy stuff happening too in it. So for this series, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.